Hi guys, welcome to this series WordPress plugins. My name is Axel Mulat. In this series, we will be set up the useful WordPress plugins to your WordPress site. In this first episode, we will be set up the Google Analytics plugin to your site. We will be quick overview and we will be talk about the bounce rate. Okay, let's do this correctly and let's get started. First step is go to analytics.google.com. If this is your first time in Google Analytics, you will be redirect to this page and sign up using your Google account. Choose website, your name, your website name, your website URL. If your site is HTTPS, choose HTTPS and your country and your time zone check by default and get the tracking id in my case i already have a google analytics account let's go to my google analytics account to add a existing website to my existing google analytics account go to this girl icon then go to property section click this and create new property I scroll down choose website and your website name website url in this video we will add the icraft wp.com from wordpress tutorial for beginners on this my youtube channel copy the icraft wp.com url and the website name and remove this https if your site is https already choose https in this case without https i will turn this website into https in the future video select your industry category find your industry here and for me i guess others and your country and get the tracking id click this scroll up and this is your universal analytics ua the tracking id we will include this to the wordpress website icraftwp.com okay go to dashboard on your wordpress site go to plugins add new and search for Google Analytics plugin. There have a lot of Google Analytics plugin in the WordPress plugins directory. There have uh, analytics in dashboard, different author, but my one of my favorite here is this plugin, which is by Webkinder. Very simple plugin, lightweight and straight and install this plugin installed and click activate once you click activate it click settings go to settings and go google analytics and paste your ga tracking code which is this copy all guys i guess i will go to notepad on this notepad that and grab the code only the tracking code copy the tracking code and paste the tracking code leave it default and save changes starting today all my site visitors will be tracked by google analytics but by the way we will test the tracking code if it's working go to this website gachecker.com copy your url copy and test check your site and done scroll down and as you see guys ua universal analytics which is check mark which is the tracking code is added properly in active except for the feed because the feed is a rss feed that's fine guys 
Okay, the Google Analytics works well. And let's overview my Google Analytics in my axel.com, axelmulat.com. Go to axelmulat and all my website data. Home. Okay, let's quick overview my Google Analytics. Website traffic and activity will be tracked by Google Analytics. As you see in the summary reports in the home page, this is the summary reports. There have user session, bounce rate, and session duration. In the last seven days, I have 308 visitors with a good bounce rate percentage, 11.28%, which is very good. Right now, I have one active visitors on the website axelmulat.com. This is real time, this section. Traffic channel, organic search, which means your visitors came from google.com and Bing. Direct, direct visitors. Social media came from the social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And referral, the visitors came from the backlink of the other website. Mostly my backlink came from YouTube channel in the YouTube video description. Session by country, session by device. Mostly my visitors came from India, seconds in United States and so on. Mostly in desktop, second mobile. Well, the important in blogging is the bounce rate must have below 50% every day, every week, and every month. By the way, what is bounce rate? The bounce rate is the visitors lead quickly to your site that cause high bounce rate. For example, I search the visitors search for this keyword. For example, the visitors click this. This is my post. If this website loads slowly, the visitors leave quickly. That's the cause of the bounce rate. The visitors leave quickly to the site because your site is very slow to load. Okay, let's try. And as you see, guys, my site speed is very good, which is not cause a high bounce rate so the visitors will not leave quickly so my bounce rate score is very good site speed depending of the web hosting i recommended to you guys choose table host because table host has a very good speed on the website and also one of the reason your visitors leave quickly to your site is your poor content which is your content is very boring to the visitors no images, no h tag, or you can put a video to your content. Must be the visitor stay longer seconds to your site. Okay, that's the bounce rate. The visitors leave quickly to your site. Okay, let's go to audience section overview. I will show you my bounce rate report in the whole month of June. We'll choose whole month of June, click apply, scroll down, and as you see the summary reports, the bounce rate in the whole month of June is 22.11%, which is very good. Let's choose a day, June 1, click apply, scroll down, and the bounce rate is 14.29%, which is very good. We will choose one week, apply first week of June click apply scroll down and the bounce rate percentage which is very good below 50% your bounce rate must be below 50% every day every week and every month which is low bounce rate equals good ranking in search engine setting up Google Analytics to your site is the one of the requirement on Google Adsense be sure you set up Google Analytics before you signing up. In the future episode, we will be set up the WordPress backup, caching, and so on. If you like this video, please kindly like and share this video for support. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to get updates on this series. If you missed the episode of my WordPress tutorial for beginners, 
just check the course in my left side on my screen and that's all for this video guys i hope you like this video see you next episode bye for now